Hey, we have a story about our community reaching out to help a family in need. Now, you might recall the story of Mike Miller, the young man who grew up on Detroit's east side and managed to open his own business. He dodged bullets, gangs, and other dangers from the streets. Then a freak accident changed his life forever. Jump gyms filled with trampolines are all the rage. But it was a birthday trip to one of these places that flipped Mike Miller's world upside down. Like so many others, a freak jumping accident left him paralyzed from the neck down. His wife, Makia, watched in horror. One minute we're having fun, and the next minute we're in an ambulance and um, on our way to the hospital. Mike went from a strong, athletic 37-year-old to being bound to a wheelchair. When I first met Mike in the summer at U of M's rehab center in Ann Arbor, he could barely move his fingers. Then in November, he was discharged from Beaumont, but instead of going home, he had to come here to the Heartland Nursing Home in Troy. So, Mike, the, the last time I saw you, you were laid up in a bed, and it didn't seem like you could move at all. And now you're moving yourself in a wheelchair. That's a lot of progress. It is. Uh, slowly but surely, things are coming back. With the help of the therapist, been working on strengthening uh, my core. You know, so potentially I can start to sit up on my own. Carol and I have never in my life seen anybody work as hard as my son. And miraculously, Mike's prognosis has been changed from complete paralysis to incomplete paralysis. His grandma has never left his side. He sat up for 12 minutes and 40 seconds because I was timing it. Meantime, at home in Warren, desperately needed repairs are underway thanks to the generosity of our Channel 7 viewers. A contractor is building a ramp and doing much needed work inside. Six. Call it six, twelve. Right now, all of the doorways in Mike and Makia's home are just 36 inches wide, so his wheelchair can't even fit through here. The contractor has said it needs to be at least 48 to 42 inches wide so Mike can get around the house easily. And Bob Yerk, the vice president of Acme Materials Incorporated, is willing to donate all of the materials to get the ramp completed. He says they are a family business that's been around for 60 years, and when there is a need in the community, they respond. We recently, when we had storms in Genesee County, we, uh, we were supplying uh, synthetic underlayment for people whose houses had roof damage to, you know, to hold them over until a contractor could come and fix it. And actually right now out of our Brighton store, uh, Homes for Our Troops is building, um, uh, they basically build homes for disabled veterans. Cornerstone schools where McKee is a teacher reached out in a big way, a fundraising skating party in November. And the school also contacted an engineer from Chrysler to manage the Miller's home being remodeled. My employer, Cornerstone, has been um, really the cornerstone of our family right now. I just can't thank you and Channel 7 and your bosses, everybody involved. I just can't thank you enough, and God bless you. Mike's wish is to make it home for Christmas. And while that timetable may not work out, we sure hope this one will. The hopes and dreams and prayer is to get up, to walk again, to be strong enough to pick up my daughter and hold her in my arms, give her a kiss the way I used to. And I believe he will. He's starting to feel all of his limbs. The specialized wheelchair you see, Mike, in is a loner from the University of Michigan. The Millers still need to raise about $8,000 for the wheelchair being made for Mike right now. If you'd like to help the Millers or would like to follow Mike's progress, they have a website. We do have a link on our website at WXYZ.com for you to check it out. Now, I know so many people have helped and offered to help and so forth. There's one guy that just never wants any credit for this, and I just want to give... Partial credit. Hank, Hank has has he used to help Bill Spencer. He would build ramps for yeah. people. He doesn't want to. He, he's he, sort of retired. He, 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 he avoids the limelight, but he just does good work, and he's he's a, he's a role model uh, for everybody. And, how you and know he's building that ramp for them. And you saw Bill York. He donated all of the material. Mm -hmm. Beaumont is offering transportation. A lot of people, but they still need a lot more help. Sure. But so many people have reached out, all and right. we thank you all.